but Sally says we'll take questions when the meeting is over. So uh, the agenda is pretty much introductions, project overview, the project areas, um, frequently asked questions, and construction timeline. So your um, construction project team includes me, Liam Conlon. Uh, my phone number is 817-392-6824. My email address is liam.conlon, C-O-N-L-O-N, at fortworthtexas.gov. And our inspector is uh, John Robinson. His phone number is 817-392-8452. And it's john.robinson, R-O-B-I-N-S-O-N, at fortworthtexas.gov. John can't be here with us tonight because he's at... Um, the school. Uh, the contractor is Circuit City Construction, and Keegan Yonkers will be the superintendent. The engineering design consulting team is uh, Kimberly Horn and Associates. Josh Kershaw isn't here tonight, but uh, Jenny Tatum, I think, is uh, Natalie Frank. Uh, project overview um, new water mains will be installed in streets and in easements on the west side of Fort Worth to alleviate low water pressure issues. Part of one west side pressure plane will be transferred to an adjacent west side pressure plane that is a higher operating pressure. Uh, this project is in Fort Worth City Council District 3 and impacts the Western Hills North, Bomber Heights and Ridgely North Neighborhood Association. Uh, landmarks include um, Western Hills High School, North Zebos Community Park and the city of Benbrook. Now, with the project areas, this is a it's like a puzzle. There's a sm smaller lines have to be incorporated in here to help on the bigger picture. Um, again, thank to, thanks to Sally uh, and her team for uh, because at least with the locator maps, you have an ease of reference. So, pr pretty much, we have. Uh, Cherry Lane near Mary Dean Avenue from the west right of way lane to the east right of way lane. And Cherry Lane near Doreen Avenue from the west right of way lane to the east right of way lane. Cherry Lane again north of West Elizabeth Lane from the west right of way lane to the east right of way lane. And the West Elizabeth Lane from the Curtis Drive West Elizabeth Avenue intersection to east. 250 feet, then north 250 feet, then east again 250 feet to Reagan Drive. Mary Dean Avenue from Ramona Drive to Joyce Drive. Uh, Ruby Place from Ramona Drive to Joyce Drive. Shape and Road from the Bonnie Drive, Shape and Road intersection to 120, 125 foot east. Davenport Avenue from 125 feet east of the Bonnie Drive, Davenport Avenue intersection to US Highway 377, then southerly for 200 feet on US Highway 377. Camp Bowie West Boulevard from 250 feet east of the Renzo Boulevard, US Highway 80 intersection to 750 feet west. Campoe West Boulevard from 50 feet east of the Brandon Lane US Highway 80 intersection to 200 feet north, then 100 feet west. Bangor Drive from Park Place to Westerly Road by the Western Hills High School. <clears throat> Shapen Road from the Renzel Boulevard Shapen Road intersection to Cork Place. And this is the major line that the tank borough will take place, but this will be a 16 inch line. <clears throat> Slocum Avenue from Ramona Drive to Maraquita Drive. Joyce Drive from Slocum Avenue to Rosewood Avenue. Rosewood Avenue from Joyce Drive to Zebos Park. And the easement across Zebos Park from the west property line of Zebo Park to Lakeland Road. Again, this is the second major line, which will be a 12 inch line for the transfer. And when we exit the park, 
and Lakeland Road will be going south and to Curzon Road for a distance of 600 feet to tie in. Olive Place from the Camp Bowie Boulevard, Olive Place intersection to 150 feet north. Greenway Road from the Tex Boulevard intersection to Bingham Boulevard, then 800 feet north to Garland Avenue, right beside the school. So why are we doing this project? Well, four work prioritizes water and sewer line replacement based on available data, which includes water main break history, leak history, closed circuit television inspection, age of the line, line material, and whether there are dead services. The but the primary goal of this project is to alleviate the low water pressure issues in this area in an area south of I-30, east of Tex Boulevard, west of Bingham Boulevard, and north of Camp Bowie Boulevard. And this is the area where the landmark here is a uh, Calmont uh, storage uh, tank, uh, which we will be showing the, the exhibit on um, slide 18. Do you replace the water line up to my house? We replace the city owned service line, water meter, a meter box, and we will repair the street. The service line from the meter of the house is private plumbing and will not be included in this construction project. However, with the exception of an area bound by Camp Bowie West Boulevard to the south, Slocum Avenue to the north, and Altamira Drive slash State Highway 183 to the east and Bonnie Drive to the west. And these properties will have the services from transferred from the water line in the rear of their lots to the main water line in the street. And again, this is exhibit slide 18, which will be under timeline. Will we need access to our property? This project is in the public right of way with the exception of the area listed in slide 11, which we just passed. In other areas of this project, if the contractor needs access to your property, you will be notified. And that's where we, the term called here is temporary right of entry. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing water line to a temporary water line. And again, when the service is transferred back from the temporary water line to the new line. As you can see in the exhibit, the temporary water line on the street. How does the temporary water line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. Water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line, which is above ground. And during the winter months to keep the line from freezing, customers should also keep their faucets dripping. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant and the above ground line. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line is based on an average of the previous month's usage. You will not be charged for the additional usage. What happens if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video, video. of the property before, before construction passes. Damage during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the construction affect my irrigation? The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will replace cap lines after construction is complete. And again, damage to the irrigation system during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will the street be replaced? Following the water and sewer construction, the street will, re will be rehabilitated with a new asphalt surface. The existing curb and gutter sidewalks and driveways will not be replaced except in certain circumstances or where it's been damaged by the contractor. 
timeline. Construction is projected to begin in the fall of 2021. The project end date is summer of 2023. The contractor will start in the area bound by Camp Bowie West Boulevard to the south, Slocum Avenue to the north, Altamere State Highway 183 to the east, and Bonnie Drive to the west. This section will impact about 25 customers. This, this area was already shown on slide 11 for, uh, to highlight the water transfer. Um, so how will you notify us? The contractor will put door hangers on your front door seven days before and one day prior to the start of construction. The hangers will include phone numbers for the inspector and the contractor. If you have any extenuating circumstances or have questions about the construction, please call these numbers. Where can I get more information? Progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website at www.fortworthtexas.gov forward slash projects forward slash CFW dash website dash pressure dash plan dash water dash improvement. That's a mouthful. But you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and enter the city project number 1468-10 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video a project map and the project summary frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page also. Again, the contacts, the project manager, Liam Conlon, again, 817-392-6824, liam.conlon, C-O-N-L-O-N, at fortworthtexas.gov, and the inspector is John Robinson, 817-392-6824, 8452 and John Dot Robinson, R O B I N S O N, at FortWorkTexas.gov. How do I report an emergency or non emergencies? Emergencies, water main breaks, sewer backups, 24 hours a day, 817 392 4477, and select option one. A water call center, which is non emergency, even though it's the same numbers from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, 817 392 4477, with a close on city holidays. Or you can download them, my FW app, from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Thank you very much. And I would like to go back to the slide which shows us the contact page. So if you have any questions or do we go to chat, Sally? There are no questions in the chat. Does anyone have a question for Liam? Alex, do you have a question? Okay, Brad, okay, Brad Hill, Hill, do you have a question? Okay, Sheila, do you have a question? And we've and got we've Natalie, Natalie Cross. Do you have a question? Call from Rocket Mortgage. Okay, last chance. Anybody have a question? We will be coming back. Um, Liam, what, what do you think? September, October for a community construction meeting? This is it. 
I'm sorry, you're right. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm thinking design. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. That's okay. We're, we're ready to go now. Once we get the books, we'll uh, have a pre-con and then we should, uh, we should select a um, notice of procedure. Okay. If nobody has any questions, we will close the meeting. Uh, is there, make sure you get the phone numbers written down. It should have been on the mailer that you received about two weeks ago. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you.